Participating in a review is an excellent way to allow your stakeholders to have collaboration within the tool in real time instead of having to send documents back and forth via email. As an approver, when you log into a review, you should have a couple different options. The first option would be to be able to just simply add a comment. If you like, you can choose to add a comment just by clicking on the bubble, here's a new comment. Then you have the ability to mark that comment as a general comment, a question, a proposed change, or an issue. In this case, I'll mark it as a general comment. What you'd like to do then is actually come through and begin reading all of the various requirements or content that's been sent to review. When you do so, you have the ability to either toggle your approval or to reject the item. In this case, I'll approve it. Whenever I add a comment to an item, I am automatically subscribed to it. I can see any subscriptions and choose to unsubscribe by clicking on the down carrot if I choose to. As I continue to read all of the content, I also have the ability, instead of looking at it from the list view, to go into the single item view. If I go into the single item view, I'll be able to see all of the information directly here. And if there have been any approvals, rejections, or comments, I'd be able to see them from here. Here, if I'd like to, I could also add a comment to specify that we want the 35 and under group to be changed to 40 and under. And then if I can mark this as a proposed change, this highlight feature will give specificity to the moderator to know exactly what needs to be changed. So for this, instead of approving, I could choose to reject. I will continue to come in and mark all of my items as approved. But before doing so, if I like to, I can see the changes that have been made by comparing the different versions. So in this case, I'm on version five. I could choose to do a comparison of version five to look at, let's say, version one of this review. When I do that, I'll see both red lines and green lines. Anything that's marked in red has been deleted and anything that's in green has been added. This will help me to ensure that I am seeing all of the changes as new versions of the review are published by the moderator. Every time a new version of the review is published, all of the stakeholders, whether they've been designated as reviewers or approvers, will have the ability to come back into the system and re-vote and either approve, reject, or mark as review all of the content. Any content that was a previously approved or rejected, the designation will automatically be erased in the event that this change has been made. When you come into the system, if instead of seeing a check mark and an X, if you only see a check mark, that means you have been designated as a reviewer and checking the, the check mark will indicate that you have reviewed everything. Once all items have been marked in the review, you have the ability to complete the review. In this case, I can't finish the review because I've marked at least one item as rejected, but I could choose to request a new revision. Once the moderator has made all the changes, I'll receive an email notification that I need to come in and review the content. Instead of having to scroll through all the items that I've previously reviewed, I could choose to come back in, apply a filter to only see things that need review or have been updated since the last version. In this case, it's a single item. Now I can have the ability to review any comments. I see that my change has been accepted. So now I can choose to toggle my approval. It will say that all items have been marked in this review and I could choose to complete this review. If you have turned on electronic signatures, you would now be able to apply the electronic signature.
From the Feedbacks tab, your moderator will now be able to see all of the feedback and comments that have been left by the various reviewers or approvers for this review in one consolidated location. They'll be able to ensure that all of the comments have been responded to and be able to reply if necessary directly from here.